So what is a pump curve and how do you use one? Well, with a pump specification, you'll often see a graph like this one with a curve or series of curves. This is called a pump curve. It's the way the performance characteristics of a pump are described graphically. The pump curve describes the relationship between the flow rate and the head for the pump. What you'll see on the pump curve is each curve is marked with the model number. So on this one here, we've got LSC 1.4S. Now it's the Srumi LSC 1.4S model. The flow rate is marked on this graph along the bottom of the graph in liters per minute. Now how high the pump can um, pump liquid is shown on the y-axis um, on the left side of the graph as head in meters. And this indicates the vertical distance if you're pumping straight up in a pipe that the pump can push the liquid upwards. Now as a rule of thumb, 10 meters pumping horizontally equates to about one meter vertically. So if you're pumping 10 meters flat, you're likely to be losing about one meter of head. So how do you actually read the curve? Well, where the line ends on the right is the maximum rate at which it can pump. So on this LSC, it's about 170 liters per minute. Where the line ends on the left is the maximum height this pump can pump a liquid to before liquid stops coming out. So we've got a head here of 11 meters. Now, what you really want to be doing is using the pump in the middle of the curve, because if you use it too far either end, it will invalidate the warranty on the pump because it's putting too much strain on it. It'd be, if you were pumping at 11 meters, it would be a bit like asking a really small engined car to tow a really heavy caravan. Eventually it will cause damage to the engine. So you want to be sort of looking around the middle and you can also use the pump curve to work out what your flow rate is likely to be. So you can calculate the head of what you're pumping. So for instance, if you were pumping out of a cellar that was two meters high, you could look up at two meters and then also work out what other head loss you've got in the system. You might then be pumping 10 meters across land which would be another meter head loss. And roughly we'd say that each right angled bend, if you've got a right angle in your pipe work, that accounts for another one meter head loss. So say you were pumping up two meters and across 10 meters and you had one right angled bend, you'd be looking at around four meters head. So if we read the pump graph, you've got four meters head, we come across, look at where we are on the curve. And then if we read down, we can see what our flow rate's going to be. So it'll be there or thereabouts on this one, uh, 150 liters a minute at four meters head. So the point at which it touches the curve at the bottom is the performance at that head height. So you can work out, say you'd got a seven meter head, you could come across, we've got seven meters here, and then you can see actually where you come down, your flow rate is just over 100 liters per minute. So it allows you to work out what flow rate you can expect at the end of your pipe work. Now, like I say, you always want to use the pump in the middle of the curve. And if you need any further assistance, don't hesitate to contact our team. We will be doing more of these videos to help raise awareness of how items work to ensure that they're specified correctly and help raise awareness of flood risk and climate change as it impacts the UK. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you are notified of any future uploads. Once again, thank you for watching. Cheers, everyone.